Hey guys, Gemma from... It's too early in the morning. <laughs> uh, I'm on my way into court. As you may remember, last year the boys were horribly threatened by um, just a neighbour, an elderly lady who is bored, to be honest. Um, she's just bored, but she's one of those, in Australia we call her the Nell Mangle of the um of the street she just you know she's an old russian lady and she wants things the way she wants things she wants you to park in the street where she wants you to park in the street or she wants you to put the bins out when or how she wants you to put the bins out it's just you know i i genuinely believe that she is just a bored old russian lady but uh Last year, while I was out at dinner, I, I mean, she's she's come over to the house numerous times yelling and screaming, you know, if, if I don't follow her, her orders, <laughs> uh, which I don't, you know, she's just a, I mean, I don't know this woman. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so she, um, you know, she's always threatened that, if I don't do what she says, she'll, you know, have us evicted or um, that, you know, she'll call the police or, I, you know, just some ridiculous thing that honestly doesn't bother me. She's even tried to sort of, she revved her engine one time when we were crossing um, over her driveway to get to our car. Uh, you know, it's silly little things to me. But the boys, especially Bo, who just doesn't understand uh you know feel really threatened by her so last year while i was out um for dinner for my birthday i got this hysterical phone call from from Bo, a facetime apparently she was banging on the back fence screaming out you know I'll get you. She's been, by the way, she's been completely tested. She's completely competent. She's not insane at all. She's just, as I said, I'll say it again, a very, very bored old lady. And look, I've been living in the same street now for about seven years. And when last year when I got home uh, from court and we were granted the IVO because she threatened the kids and I had to leave the, the restaurant, I, you know, they were... Both of them were cowering at home, terrified. She was just banging on the back gate. And when uh, the next day, um, the neighbor opposite, um, lovely old Russian man and his wife, and he looked at me and he said, you know, good on you. You know, well done for getting the bitch, he said. I, I, honestly, if it was just me, I'd leave her to her devices. I'm not, you know, but, the boys do not feel safe in their own home and the words that she used were unacceptable and they have the right to feel safe uh, and at the moment the only way that they know that that's going to happen is because this um, intervention order for the last 12 months has done exactly that. It is the first 12 months of peace that we have had. Oh my goodness, in, in seven years. So that has now come to an end. And of course, Bo is peaking because this woman's a vengeful woman. You know, she'll sort of, she, she, will, she won't take the, the last 12 months of her enforced, you know, uh, enforced quietness of coming onto our property. I put up a gate to try and stop her coming onto our property. She purged it in court last time saying that we shared a driveway, which we don't, we live on completely separate properties, but I couldn't prove it at the time. Um, she uses a translator, even though that she speaks fluent English, 
you know, she's very manipulative and she knows how to manipulate the situation. So she thinks that, you know, if, if she uses a translator, then they'll see her as someone who can't speak English. So how could she possibly um, come over and abuse us? Anyway, uh, she, yes, she said that we shared a driveway, which we don't. This year, now that it's come to an end, which I'm on my way to extend the IVO, I really hope it gets extended. Not just, not just for me, because it has been nice and peaceful, but for the boys. Bo is truly terrified, absolutely terrified, um, of what's going to happen as retribution, or just what's going to happen if, if this stops. So I, I've prepared a statement. I mean, I think the fact that I've proven that she perjured herself in court just to get the upper hand so that she could stand on our driveway um, should be enough. But you never know. It's down to the drawer on the day. I, I'm, I'm really sad that it's taking up the time of a system that I value which is, you know, the legal system, the court system, that my petty little neighbor, it's not even a dispute because I don't actually have a problem with her. I don't go to her place. We don't know each other. We have no known associates. <laughs> we have no need to be in contact with each other at all. Uh, but yeah, she's, uh, She's, she's, yeah, it's good. She just wanted to be able to stand on our driveway or make a point that she still had the upper hand or something like that. I just don't know. Anyway, we won last year. I really hope that we can win this year. Um, I'm sad that we're taking up the time of the courts but it is the only thing that he that she respects and Bo feels safe and Finn too so I just want it extended until they finish walking to school they feel like they're safe in their own home which is a god-given right <laughs> so I'll see you on the other side let you know how it goes